टॉप स्टोरीज आ सलमान के बाद फरनीति ने किया कौन सी सुपरस्टार को रिजेक्ट ऐश्वर्या के नाम पर सलमान को क्यों आया गुस्सा सनी लियोनी टॉक्स एक्सक्लूसिवली टू स्पॉट बॉय ऑन हर फर्स्ट लव एंड ब्रेकअप हे गाइस वेलकम टू स्पॉट बॉय सब कुछ बॉलीवुड दिस इज मी केटलिन वेलकमिंग यू टू एन ऑल न्यू एपिसोड Parniti Chopra does it again. Well yeah, after turning down superstar Salman Khan, Parniti ne apna choosy nature ek alag hi level par pahuncha diya hai. This time she said no to someone I wouldn't refuse in my dreams. For that matter, I don't think any girl would. Anyways, before I get lost in my own fantasies, let's get to the story. Most wanted Parniti Chopra. Where show aajkal Parniti ke fans yahi poster laga ke ghum rahe honge. Trying to find where their favorite star is lost nowadays. Sorry guys but there is bad news for you again. Now that Parniti has shed those extra kilos you must be thinking that she's dying to sign on the dotted line and begin shooting for some movies soon. Yahan fans ummeed laga kar bhete hain ki jaldi hi hot and sexy Parniti ko big screen par dekhne ka mauka milega. Par ye ladki hai ki maanti hi nahi. Pehle to Salu Mian ki Sultan ko reject kiya aur ab ek aur badi superstar ko thumbs down dikha diya hai Parniti ne. and he is none other than Hrithik Roshan The last movie dished out by Pari was Davate Ishq and boy that was a recipe gone horribly wrong Aur ab jab bounce back karne ka chance mil raha tha the actress has gone ahead and turned it down It was a Hrithik Roshan film being produced by Papa Roshan and directed by Sanjay Gupta The lady couldn't have asked for a better project to make a comeback Do we need to tell Pari ki Rakesh Roshan ne kitni hits di hai apne career mein from Koi Mil Gaya to the Krish series do mein to aapki super talented sister Priyanka ne bhi kaam kiya hai to fir aapka Rakesh Roshan aur Dugu ko na bolna seems rather absurd where show you didn't consult your sister jinhe aap apna idol manti hai aapko to is situation mein ye offer aake band karke sign karna chahiye tha 2015 did not see a single Parineeti film at the box office लगता है उन्होंने पूरी जी जान सिर्फ अपने फिटनेस गोल्स मीट करने में लगा दिया वेल सुनने में आया है कि द दीवा खुद हैव सेड नो टू सुल्तान एंड द गुज अनटाइटल्ड फिल्म फॉर वायरएफ्स बेफिक्रे चलो कोई मूवी तो साइन कर रही है ये सुनकर परी के फैंस की कुछ फिक्र तो कम हुई होगी व्हाट डू यू गाइस थिंक सलमान खान गेट्स एंग्री व्हेन एनीवन मॉक्स हिज पास्ट और बात जब ऐश्वर्या से रिलेटेड हो देन सलमान इज ऑन अनदर लेवल ऑलटुगेदर मोर ऑन दिस अप नेक्स्ट Salman Khan's past seems to be haunting him everywhere. Don't believe us? Well, hamari ye update dekhkar aap surely believe kar hi lenge. No brownie points to guess ki jab baat aati hai Salman ke past ki, first name which pops up in our head is Aishwarya Rai Bachchan. So, here goes the story. Ek award show mein Aishwarya and Salman were under the same roof. Obviously, they didn't cross each other, but you must be thinking what's the big deal, right? Ye to pehle bhi bahut baar hua hai. दरअसल इस अवार्ड नाइट में सलमान अपने दोस्तों के साथ बैठे थे एंड जस्ट देन ऐश्वर्या वॉज अवॉर्डेड फॉर हर परफॉर्मेंस इन जज्बा और ऐसा होते ही सलमान के फ्रेंड्स ने शुरू किया ऐश का मजाक उड़ाना दे स्टार्ट टीजिंग हिम अबाउट हाउ अनकंफर्टेबल शी वुड गेट इफ सलमान वॉक्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ हर ये सुनते ही सलमान को आ गया गुस्सा और उन्होंने अपने दोस्तों को कहा जस्ट शर आप यार कट द टॉपिक राइट नाउ इतना ही नहीं सोसेस ने स्पॉट बॉय को बताया सलमान फ्रेंड्स वर इन फॉर रूट शॉक बिकॉज दे हैव नेवर सीन हिम रिएक्ट दैट वे स्पेशली ऑन जोक्स दे रियलाइज दैट ही वॉज एक्सट्रीमली एंग्री अबाउट द एपिसोड सो दे विथ ड्रू एंड लेफ्ट हिम अलोन फॉर अ वाइल टू काम डाउन सीम्स एक सलमान इज स्टिल नॉट कम्फर्टेबल विद एनी वन मॉकिंग एंड द वे रिसेंटली उन्होंने अपने रियलिटी शो पर ऐश्वर्या का नाम लिया है सीम्स लाइक ही स्टिल हैज सम नोस्टाउजर डीप डाउन इन इज हार्ट Adding the heat to this chilled weather is Sunny Leone. Jin se spot boy ne kiya ek exclusive chat. Listen up as Sunny opens up about her first love, breakup and more. My husband Daniel, he had just he thought it was going to be a regular meeting. He had a meeting with uh, Rangita from PNC and um, Milap the the director and um 
they had given him a very short narration of what the movie was all about and all of a sudden I get a call. I don't go to meetings um, like this. I usually go to the meetings when things are just about, about to be signed or, or it's time to you know, meet everyone. Um, so in this first encounter, my husband calls me up. He's like, we're coming upstairs. Uh, you need to hear about this movie and yada, yada, yada. When I hear movies like this, um, you know, stuff in this genre, I don't think about what movies have been released here or what type of comedy type of stuff has, has been released here. I think about American um, movies where I see a Cameron Diaz, you know, doing all sorts of crazy stuff. Or I see, you know, someone like Jennifer Aniston, uh, where she's also in these types of comedies. And nobody really thinks of them as um, taboo or, oh my gosh, she's in a bikini. This is, this is crazy yet. <laughs> um, so I, I thought of it that way and I thought, you know, this will be something that will be really fun. The char one of the characters in this movie, uh, Lily, um, Layla is exactly how the world sees me. This over-the-top, glamorous, sexy, whatever you want to say. Um, and then there's Lily, who's a little bit more conservative. She's a little goofy. I don't stutter. Lily stutters, but she's she's. I'm more. Yeah, she's a lot more nerdy looking. She has specs. She's got, you know, bangs, long curly hair. Um, so I would say that my personality is maybe a little bit closer to Lily. I was never supposed to do that movie, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> um, nor did I ever read the script, nor do I know what the movie's about. Um, but our relationship is, is great. I just saw her the other day for uh, BCL. The first time I fell in love with a boy. No, it wasn't a girl, sorry. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> it was just a boy. <laughs> I don't know if it was love. I guess you could call it like puppy love. Um, it was in high school. I moved from this small town that I was living in. Um, I lived on a border city in, in Canada. And when we moved, we moved to the neighboring border city. And I started high school there. And I met this boy and he was so cute. And he was my first kiss. And it was like the most dreamy, amazing thing. Of course, I'm a good Punjabi girl that's not supposed to have any boyfriends. But I did, <laughs> secretly. And um, we moved. We moved all the way to California. And it was such a huge heart heartbreak. I was so upset. So, 2016 laya hai Bollywood ki liye ek good news. And with this update, hopefully our filmmakers will get less troubled by the censor board. So let's find out ki censor board mein aisa kaun sa change aane wala hai. Bollywood ki liye 2016 shuru hua on a very good note. Naye saal mein shayad censor board chief Pehlaj Nilani ke chops and cuts ka kya nikal hi aaya. 2015 में सेंसर बोर्ड चीफ पहलाज नीलानी ने बॉलीवुड में दहशत मचाई थी, संस्कार का झंडा लहराया और क्रिएटिविटी को मार डाला। But with this good news, things will hopefully change. Ministry of Information and Broadcasting ने अनाउंस किया है कि उन्होंने एक कमिटी फॉर्म की है to look into the matter of the censor board. को हेड कर रहे हैं वेटरन फिल्मेकर शाम बेनेगल। उनके साथ है डायरेक्टर राकेश ओमप्रकाश मेहरा, एडमैन पीयूष पांडे और फिल्म क्रिटिक भावना सोमाया। कमिटी का मकसद होगा टू सजेस्ट अ वे फॉरवर्ड फॉर द सीबीएफसी। ओवर द नेक्स्ट टू मंथ्स कमिटी सजेस्टेंस देगा ऑन हाउ टू रीवैम्प द सीबीएफसी। INB Ministry ke mutabik, the recommendations of this committee are expected to provide a holistic framework and enable those tasked with the work of certification of films to discharge their responsibilities keeping in view this framework. During their deliberations, the committee would be expected to take note of the best practices in various parts of the world, especially where the film industry is given sufficient and adequate space for creative and aesthetic expression. IMB Ministry ke announcement ke baad Bollywood expressed their joy on Twitter. Filmmaker Madhur Bhandarkar ne tweet kiya, Welcome move by at PMO India and at Arun Jaitli ji to appoint noted filmmaker hashtag Sham Benegal ji as head of Sensor Board revamp panel. Hashtag CBFC. Rai's ke director Rahul Dulakya ne tweet kiya saying, The censor board to be mantanized by hashtag Sham Benegal. Good beginning to 2016. Well, ab ye change kitna welcoming hoga, ye to hume kuch vakt mein pata chal jayega. Till then, the industry can catch a breath of relief. 
With that, it's time to wrap up this edition of Spot Boy. But stay connected to Spot Boy, Sub Coach Bollywood by logging on to our site and our YouTube channel. Update our free app on your Android and iOS. And for those who don't have it yet, download it now. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. This is me, Caitlin, signing off for now. But we will be back with Spot Boy's second edition tonight at 10.